super frosty, super clean looking. Looks like some top shelf marijuana. What's up YouTube? This is Shabazz and I'm back with another CBD hemp flower review. What's up YouTube? My name is Shabazz. I make educational, entertaining, and informative content about CBD, hemp, hemp flower, alternative cannabinoids, cannabis accessories, and cannabis in general. If that sounds right for you, make sure you hit that subscribe button. What's up to my can of sewers? Hope you're staying healthy. Hope you're staying safe. Welcome back to another video. Today, we have a returning vendor to the channel. There really is no introduction needed out of North Carolina. I'm talking about WNC CBD. All right, so I got a spicy review for you today. I'm gonna be checking out the regular CBD, low THCA, Banana Mac, and Bordeaux. Now, I'm sure you recognize those as two of the most popular high THCA strains. Actually, here's a little trivia. Bordeaux was actually a regular hemp strain like years ago, and then sometime in the past two years or so, it got turned into this high THCA hemp strain, and I'm guessing because of changing laws and everything, they reverted it back to normal CBD flour. Also, the Banana Mac, the high THCA Banana Mac, supposedly, they converted it completely down to a type three compliant hemp flour, so this is the this doesn't have the five, six, seven, eight percent THC. This should have regular high CBD, less than one percent THC. So I'm excited to try that out because that Banana Mac, um, that's an excellent, excellent strain, excellent genetic, but it had way too much THC for me to enjoy. All right, so along with the flower, we got a letter to law enforcement, test results, and this dope WNC sticker. All right, let's jump right into this. I'm gonna start off with the Banana Mac, I usually save best for last, but I have a fresh palate. I haven't smoked today or anything like that, so I really wanna take in the smell and the flavors and everything with a completely fresh, clean palate for the day. Looks like this Banana Mac comes in at 14% CBD, 0.54% total THC. So like I said, no five, six, seven, eight percent THC. This has regular hemp flour percentages, a half of a percent total THC, 14% CBD, that's nice. All right, we got 3.5 right here for normal packaging. And these packages from WNC are notoriously difficult to open. You've seen in my past videos, they just, they don't want to open. So I went on Amazon and I got the beefiest scissors I could find specifically, not just for WNC, but specifically for cracking open hemp packages that I know might be difficult or might come off all jagged. I hate when I open up a bag and it's like looking like the mountains in the WNC logo. So got these scissors. These scissors cut through anything. I was cutting boxes and everything right here. I'm gonna put a link in the description of these scissors. Trust me, you want these. I don't know. I'm getting old, but good scissors, that's cool. All right, here goes a Banana Mac. Oh my God. Oh my God, he on X Games mode. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> oh, what a lovely smell. What a lovely, lovely smell. So despite not being basically still a higher CBD marijuana than it was, this is the full-on hemp banana mac version, but it still carries most of that marijuana smell, that turp profile. Skunky, gassy, piney, a whole lot of pine. I'm talking pine saw pine, a little skunk, a little gas. Most of all though, it has that sexy cologne scent to it that really separates top shelf cannabis from everything else. Good cannabis, no matter what it is, no matter what the terpene profile is, indica, sativa, whatever cross, top shelf cannabis always has this nice cologne scent to it. And this has that. It smells very good. Reintroduction of the bag cam. That's what it looks like in the bag. Frosty, sexy. All right, let's get it out onto a tray. Mm. These nugs are absolutely beautiful. Super frosty, super clean looking. Looks like some top shelf marijuana. This looks incredibly good. All right, take a look at that bud right there. This strain is super frosty, super frosty, just like the, uh, the higher THC version. Retains all the same properties just lower THC and seemingly more CBD. All right, here's another nug. This one's a little bit more compact, a little bit more squat. Still looks super fire. 
but this doesn't have any crazy color palette to it no purples or anything like that but it just looks good classic light green cannabis looks healthy it looks fresh it looks moist all right you already know what's about to happen definitely gotta smoke and vape this so let me break that down while i do that i'm gonna put a high resolution image of it here All right, this broke down nicely. It was really dense, so you might wanna bring along a grinder. Also, when I broke it down, I got a, a different set of terpenes that came out of almost a Abacus diesel type of scent. I'm wondering if maybe they crossed the Banana Mac with another strain to get those CBD levels up and the THC levels down. I'm not sure, let's get to it. interesting taste it's almost like a tastes like frozen chicken nuggets almost with a, a minty cologne aftertaste smooth as well yeah you know those frozen dinosaur chicken nuggets tastes exactly like those and it has this um has this uh, you know spicy cannabis aftertaste as well very smooth though still as i'm talking i'm getting a, a gassy flavor stuck in the back of my mouth all right and of course we got this loaded into the vaporizer let's see what that's talking about Whew, spicy the vaporizer the flavor is very bright and very clean it's very very gassy though the flavor tastes almost exactly how abacus diesel smells with just um an added like that 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 cologne scent after taste really smooth in the vaporizer too really good strain smoked and vaped the flavor is peculiar but it's a good experience. Mm, almost perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and give this about a four and a half out of five on the smoothness scale. Very smooth, the vapor and the smoke. It could be just a tiny, tiny bit better. All right, so Banana Mac, I'm expecting some Indica dominant hybrid type of effects. I tried the high THC version before, and um, I don't know, it was so strong, I don't even remember what the effects were like on that. Based on the genetics though, should be an Indica dominant type of effect. So let me kick back, let those effects kick in, and I'll come back and let you know how I feel. Man. That was a that was a roller coaster of a ride. Usually I come back within five or ten minutes after I consume the flour and let you know what the effects are, but this I had to let it ride out. So I'm back about 30 minutes later. The effects have already, you know, peaked and I'm I'm, I'm smooth sailing right now. Let me tell you, man, first of all, this banana mac is a creeper. At first, two, three minutes after I smoked and vaped it, I was just chilling. I'm thinking to myself, like, oh, you know, it's not too bad. This actually has pretty light effects. And it's like, you know, they say about edibles, once you start talking shit about them, they kick in. Well, this, once I started doubting it in my mind, it slapped me upside the head full force. That moment, I started thinking to myself, did they send me, you know, is this a lie? Is this still the real thing? And they're just, they're lying about it, you know, to get around laws? Or did they send me the full THC? banana mac i don't know for a cool minute there i started to get worried because it was just the the uphill climb was just it was going so steep and so fast and after about 15 minutes it started going down a little bit and it mellowed out into a really strong hybrid very potent and very forward but type of effects that just really had me like super stuck eyes heavy cotton mouth type of thing i'm not gonna say it's sativa leaning or indica leaning it's kind of literally right in the middle i'm not i'm not feeling energized or rushy but i'm also not feeling sleep or anything i just got i felt a strong potent buzz it's like 50 50 right in the middle a little bit of everything mixed in there so i'm glad that they came out with this low thc banana mac version because this is a dope strain and i could finally enjoy it even though i'll say this is really potent i wouldn't smoke this if you got to do something if you're you know out in public or in an uncomfortable setting if you're thc sensitive like me the effects on this are pretty potent even for hemp flower although nothing like the original banana mac that i tried from flow gardens this still definitely the first time you smoke this definitely do it in a comfortable setting 
I like this flower though, I like this strain. It's extremely frosty, it looks really good, it has a really nice cure to it. The terpene profile is nice, loud, funky, it has that menthol, cologne smell to it. It smokes good, it vapes good, it has really potent effects. So without a doubt, I'm gonna give this Banana Mac from WNC the Shabazz seal of approval. I'm enjoying this much more than the original that's not the original Banana Mac I tried before. And I gotta say too, right now it looks like WNC temporarily lowered their prices or something. So right now, especially if you get like the smalls, it's a pretty good value. It's actually just priced slightly higher than most outdoor flower is. Let me let these effects fully wear off and I'll come back and check out that Bordeaux. 20 minutes later. All right, so the Bordeaux comes in at 20.16% CBD, 0.85% total THC. So on paper, this Bordeaux is actually more potent than that Banana Mac, but that Banana Mac really pushed the limits of acceptable hemp flower effects. So I don't see how this could be stronger. All right, once again, I got my official Mylar bag opening scissors. Cuts through this like butter, link in the description. So this is a Bordeaux. Okay. So this has much more of a much more boring, classic hemp flower turp profile to it. Nothing skunky, funky, cushy, menthol-y. This kind of has that classic lifter, super haze, abacus, electra type of kind of a sweet, funky, wooden pine smell to it. Believe me, you smelled a million things like this before. Now it smells clean, there's no grass, no hay, so the cure isn't the problem. It's just the strain itself is not a great strain. Like I said, I tried Bordeaux years ago. I'm pretty sure that this smells exactly like it did then. All right, let's bring her in for a closer. All right, looks like our full eighth was one very dense nug, one little miniature nug. So I'll tell you right off the bat, again, this is very, very frosty, like I showed you. Almost the entire eighth is in this nug, so it is going to be very dense. And I can tell you by squeezing it, there's almost no squishiness to that, no bounce back, that's a rock. <laughs> All right, so this actually has a unique nug structure to it. Looks really good though, really frosty, and it is incredibly dense. But the trim job is nice, very, very nice, tight manicure on that. Has those orange hairs popping out. But this is just, I mean, this is good looking stuff. There's no doubt about it. It's good looking. It does not smell as good as it looks though, but it looks good. The looks almost make up for the lack of a good terpene profile, almost. Now honestly, that Banana Mac almost made me tap out but I'm not. So you already know what the deal is. Enjoy this picture right here while I get this ready. All right, this was very hard to break down. Super dense, super sticky. You have to use a grinder to break this down. Otherwise, I don't, you might throw it across the room or something. Let's get to it. Okay, just with that first hit, a little bit more heat, a little bit more roughness compared to that Banana Mac. Flavor's kind of good though, has kind of a, a spicy, piney flavor. Definitely more harsher. This one definitely has a little bit of harshness to it. Not super bad, it's not unsmokable. It's not as easy to get down though. All right, and of course we got this in the vaporizer too. Much more of a classic hemp flavor to go along with that classic hemp smell. Now this is actually way smoother in the vaporizer than the smoke in the smoke. It was kind of harsh. Very easy in the vaporizer though. Very light flavor, very light on the throat. Easy to get down. I'm gonna have to give this about a three out of five on the smoothness scale. Maybe even a two and a half to a three, but I'll say a three. It's not the most harsh thing I've ever smoked, but it could definitely be more smoother and easier to get down. And again, you already know the routine. I'm gonna let these effects kick in. I'll come back and let you know how I feel. All right, I'm back. Now the effects on this Bordeaux, 
I have to say, a little bit more indica leaning. Definitely feel slowed down a little bit, probably ready for bed. My eyelids feel super heavy, my eyes feel heavy. Go drink some water and lay down. I also am getting this radiating warmth all around my body from my arms down. It's really crazy, but I, it's um, this warm tingliness, which makes me say this strain might be really good for pain management. I feel kind of warm, numb, and tingly all over. My eyes feel super low. I feel super sedated. Now, this isn't the heaviest or the most indica leaning thing I've ever had, but it's definitely, definitely indica leaning. I mean, I'm just struggling to keep my eyes open right now. And this one has a much more of a stronger body effect than the Banana Mac. The, the Banana Mac was um, much more just punchy, hit you right in the face. The effects were strong, they peaked, they did all this. This Bordeaux is a much more chill, melt you into the bed, melt you into the couch, give you the munchies, put you to sleep type of strain. Right now I feel hella chill, but I just, my eyes feel super, super low. Like I'm doing that thing where I'm manually keeping my eyes open right now. I have a good feeling in about 25, 30 minutes, I'm gonna wanna heat up everything in the kitchen. The way I'm feeling, the way this is affecting my torso and the numbness just in my gut and everything, I know from experience, that's when the munchies come on. Buttermilk biscuits. So I didn't particularly care about the terp profile on the strain, kind of old school hemp smell. And also it was relatively harsh on the smoke, but it looks so good, it looks so good. And the effects are really good. I'm still gonna give this the Shabazz seal of approval. I'll say, especially if you're gonna vape this strain. If you're sticking it into a dry herb vape like this, which is the Crafty Plus, so I have a link to it down in my description. You're gonna have a good time. You're not gonna have to worry about the harshness. You're just gonna vape it, get the pure effects from the flower and be great. Smoking, eh, I don't know, you might struggle to get there, but either way, the effects are good. So I'll give it that 75% uh, Shabazz seal of approval. Honestly though, these, uh, the Banana Mac and then this Bordeaux, this took a lot out of me. <laughs> I need to end this review. Can't even do no more talking. This was a fun one to do though. Really enjoyed that Banana Mac. All right, y'all, check out my merch, Legal Clothing Co. down in the description. Check out my IG, which is here, down in the description. Hit like if you liked the video. Hit me up down in the comments. Subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you can see when I upload new content. I appreciate each and every one of y'all so, so much. And I sincerely hope that you have an amazing rest of your day or night. I'm out for now, but I'll see you on the next video. Peace.